In this session, I shall continue the problem on Bernoulli's differential equation and uh, today I shall discuss also about uh, the study of orthogonal trajectory in Cartesian coordinate system and polar coordinate system. Let me take an example as a continuation of uh, a Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation solution. Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation, the next problem will be like this. So, 1 plus x into y square dy by dx, x into, x into y square into xy dy by dx equal to 1. In this problem, we can see the difference between the previous problem which we discussed and the present problem. Here, dy is multiplied to y here, then it is not in the form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x into y to the power n. So, this must be explained in terms of dx by dy. In this case, uh, you write the derivative in the form of dx by dy. In the solution, since dy is multiplied by y, then we consider, we consider the equation as follows. You take this term uh, to the other side, otherwise derivative you take to the left side. Therefore, let 1 plus x into y square into x y z equal to that is 1 divided by dy by dx. This can be taken as dx divided by dy. So, dx divided by dy, you can take the terms like this and it is not linear in uh, nonlinear in y, but it will be nonlinear in x, we can consider the terms. Then after rewriting that one, dx by dy, first you have to do that, all the terms you take to other side, uh, if you expand this, x into y plus x square, that is y to the power 3 is equal to dx by dy. Then the same thing we can write it as dx divided by dy and minus of xy is equal to x square into y cube. This is Bernoulli's differential equation which is non-linear in non-linear in x. Therefore, which we have to do that our division throughout not with respect to y because another form in the previous problem we discussed that was like this dy by dx plus of it is p of x into y is equal to q of x into y to the power n that was non-linear with the power that is y to the power n that means more than first degree of y was there. Therefore, dx by dy minus x into y is equal to x square into y cube. This is non-linear in that is x. That means non-linear in x means x degree is 2. So, this term should be removed. We will take this division divide by x square throughout. This gives x to the power minus 2 and dx divided by dy minus of when you divide by x square, that is 1 by x into y, 1 by x into y and uh, that is equal to y cube. Afterwards, you have to take this x to the power x in the numerator should be x to the power minus 2, it is dx by dy, x to the power minus 2, it is dx by dy minus otherwise plus of minus x to the power minus 1 into y is equal to y cube. 
So this should be of the form dx by dy plus p of y into x is equal to q of y into x to the power n. That type Bernoulli's differential equation you have to define. Now for this you have to remove this power that is put x to the power minus 1 equal to t. So minus 1 into x to the power minus 2 into dx equal to it is dt. Then this equation comes to be x to the power minus 2 into dx equal to dt. That should be minus of dt because with this minus and divided by dy minus of it is y into t y into t is equal to y cube. Then remove this minus sign divide multiply throughout by minus sign. That is dt divided by dy. This becomes plus sign and y into t that is equal to minus of it is y cube. Now this is in the form of dx divided by dy plus of p of y into x is equal to q of y. But in place of x uh, you have another variable as t. Therefore, this is y our linear differential equation which is this was non-linear differential equation but this is linear in t which is linear in t. Find the integrating factor. Find the integrating factor. How to find the integrating factor? That is i of is equal to e to the power integral that is p of y this one into dy should be it is equal to e to the power integral p of y means y it is dy p of y is multiplied to that is y is multiplied to t should be e to the power that is y square by it is 2 e to the power of y square by 2 then that is dt by dy and t and e to the power y that is uh, plus of p of y p of y refers to y and we are considering that is e to the power y square divided by 2 so then 1 into that means solution of this after finding the integrating factor solution of the differential equation solution of the differential equation is given by is given by that is y means t here t into integrating factor e to the power y square divided by 2 is equal to integral q of y q of y is minus y cube into e to the power y square divided by 2 into dy and plus of constant. Now we have to do the integration this we can take like this integration minus sign outside y square into y e to the power y square divided by 2 and dy plus of constant. This is only the rearrangement I am taking e to the power y, uh, y cube I am taking it as y square into y and e to the power y square divided by 2. Then put y square equal to y square is equal to some other uh, symbol you can take y square is equal to l then that implies 2y into dy is equal to dl therefore here y into dy you can take 
real divided by 2. Therefore, the given differential equation comes to be uh, the solution P into e to the power y square divided by 2 is equal to in place of y square that is L and y into dy and e to the power y square. Okay. E to the power y square means you are taking substitution y square is equal to L and e to the power L divided by 2 this is one term and the y into dy is equal to dl divided by 2 and plus the constant that is to be integrated this term you can take this 1 by 2 outside minus of 1 by 2 integral l into e to the power l by 2 it is dl and plus of constant so this is first function and this is second function integrating by parts minus 1 by 2 that is first into integral of second e to the power l by 2 divided by 1 by 2 and uh, minus of first uh, differentiation or integral of differential of first into integration of second therefore this is 1 into twice integration e to the power l by 2 divided by that is 1 by 2 whole square that becomes 1 by 4 and plus of constant further this 1 by 2 you can cancel and 1 by 2 here with this we can cancel then minus of l into e to the power uh, minus of l into e to the power l by 2 minus minus plus this 2 comes to the numerator e to the power l by 2 and plus constant left side p into e to the power y square and divided by 2 so p uh, you have to leave the answer in terms of the given symbols in place of p you put x to the power minus 1 which we had taken for substitution and e to the power y square divided by 2 that is equal to minus in place of l you substitute y square and exponential power y square divided by 2 and plus of 2 times e to the power y square divided by 2 and plus of constant <coughs> plus of constant so x to the power minus 1 you can avoid e to the power y square divided by 2 equal to minus y square minus y square uh, that is into x x to the power minus 1 you are taking denominator and taking cross multiplication and e to the power y square divided by 2 plus 2 into x e to the power y square divided by 2 plus c into x this is your final solution for Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation therefore how these nonlinear differential equations can be solved means there are two stages will happen. At one stage, uh, you will have to uh, observe whether the derivative is multiplied with respect to the dependent variable as it is. If it is given as dy by dx, then you need to write in the form of dx by dy. Afterwards, you take that as Bernoulli's nonlinear differential equation and then convert that into linear differential equation uh, that is uh, in the general form uh, dy by dx plus p of x into y uh, you know, p of x into y is equal to p of x like that. So uh, these three four steps you have to uh, remember when you are going to solve non-linear differential equation with respect to Bernoulli's model. Now let us move on to the discussion the next discussion as orthogonal trajectory the applications of differential equations this is applications of first order uh, differential equations as two applications are there as per uh, the contents uh, mentioned one is orthogonal uh, three uh, three applications are there one is orthogonal trajectory and next one is newton's law of cooling and one more is uh, rl circuit that is electric circuit which contains the resistance and inductance 
so these three applications i shall discuss in the next part of this syllabus the next is applications of differential equations Applications of differential equation. First is orthogonal trajectory. And second one is Newton's law of cooling. And third one is R L circuit. Let me discuss first one orthogonal trajectory. Uh, there are uh, two cases in this orthogonal trajectory with respect to the geometry. One is Cartesian coordinate system and the another one is polar coordinate system. First of all, let us understand what is the meaning of orthogonal trajectory. In the world itself, you can sort out two meanings. Uh, there are two words in this title. One is orthogonal and the another one is trajectory. What is orthogonal? That means any two uh, lines or any two graphs intersect at the angle of 90 degree, then we call it as orthogonal. And trajectory means the curve which cuts another curve at some point that is called as cutting across. Orthogonal means 90 degree and trajectory means cutting across. Therefore, first one I shall discuss and some problems we will cover on this. It is on orthogonal trajectory. Orthogonal means this implies two curves to meet at 90 degree, and trajectory means two curves cutting across. Cutting across. That means we have especially these things will be very useful in fluid mechanics where <coughs> stream lines and path lines will be intersecting even in the trajectory of the uh, trajectory which we are going to observe in the orbit there also we can uh, uh, measure the angles <coughs> where two curves meet at 90 degree or the path of 90 degree trajectory is cutting across okay here, how we are going to define between two curves? There are two systems in this. One is Cartesian coordinate system. Cartesian coordinate system. Another is polar coordinate system. First of all, Cartesian coordinate system is x and y. Polar coordinate system is this is in terms of r and theta. These two are the variables in Cartesian form, and these two are the variables in polar form. What is the meaning of this in Cartesian coordinate system? So we are given, for example, a form x comma y and alpha equal to 0, this represents certain equation in Cartesian form or certain family of curves we can represent for function of x comma y comma alpha equal to 0, certain family of curves uh, with respect to one parameter, we call this alpha as the parameter and uh, here what we do, we eliminate this parameter. <coughs> we eliminate this parameter for the purpose of forming a differential equation that means eliminating the parameter which is given then we form a differential equation and for that differential equation we apply the concept of orthogonal trajectory 
which is known as replacing the differential coefficient dy by dx with minus of dx by dy and then you will solve the differential equation after applying the concept of orthogonal trajectory and you will be getting here we will write this is one step this is second step that is differential of orthogonal trajectory and third step after solving this one you will be getting another uh, set of uh, uh, equations that is family of curves something like another function of x comma y comma beta is equal to 0 if this are, these are the resulting family of curves these are the given family of curves if you observe these two behavior behavior of these two curves they will intersect at if they will intersect at 90 degree then we call it as this is orthogonal to the given curve that means this is a solution this is also a solution but in between we form a differential equation by elimination of alpha and then we will write certain kind of differential equation afterwards that differential equation we can solve after applying the concept of this dot that is dot differential of orthogonal trajectory and then in place of alpha some other constant you are getting if you see the behavior of these two nature of these two families of curves then they are orthogonal to each other here we will discuss totally uh, two or three types of problems in the Cartesian form itself one is in the direct approach this type of values will fall in another type even if you apply differential of orthogonal trajectory to the uh, differential equation which you are going to form but the terms remain same and the value remains same and in such cases we call it as the orthogonal trajectory is uh, orthogonal trajectory of the given equation is called as self orthogonal such are such are the two three problems we will be discussing now what is uh, the uh, definition of this orthogonal trajectory uh, i'll repeat uh, the given family of curves having some parameter then they intersect with every member of another family of curves at 90 degree then we'll say that each member cuts the uh, each member of another family of curves then we'll say that they are orthogonal to each other so families of curves means more than one uh, curve will make it and here also more than one curve will make it for example here you can take like this some uh, directions that means some graphs and if this graph is uh, cutting across another graph so if the angle is here where the intersection falls this is 90 degree and here also and here also this is 90 degree if you draw the tangents if this is 90 degree then we will say that they are orthogonal to each other so this direction these are one set of family of curves and the resulting family of curves are nothing but when you solve the differential equation now let me go directly to the problem how we can solve the orthogonal trajectory uh, through differential equation the first problem will be i should take a simple case that is rectangular hyperbola <coughs> example find the orthogonal trajectory Find the orthogonal trajectory of x, y equal to c, and hence, and hence solve the same. That means you will apply the concept of orthogonal trajectory uh, after elimination of parameter. That means resulting equation will be differential equation, and then we will solve the differential equation to get another family of curves okay how we are going to take this equation in the solution given x into y is equal to c implies x y minus c equal to zero this represents f of x comma y comma c equal to zero that means here c is a parameter 
uh, we eliminate this parameter and form a differential equation. Okay. Uh, how to form the differential equation means you have to take the differentiation on both sides and apply the concept of orthogonal trajectory. Therefore, x y minus c, x y minus c equal to zero. In this equation, we write the differentiation, differentiating with respect to x. Therefore, this is a product in the left side, x into dy by dx and plus of y into 1, that is minus 0 equal to 0. So, you will be getting x into dy by dx plus of y equal to 0. This is called differential equation of the first order and first degree. That means, after the elimination of parameter c, we form the differential equation and this differential equation uh, is called first order and first degree. This orthogonal trajectory we are applying only for the first order and first degree equation in both polar as well as in the Cartesian coordinate system. Then, uh, the next uh, job is, in the case of uh, Cartesian coordinate system, the orthogonal trajectory is formed by replacing the differential coefficient uh, dy by dx by minus of dx by dy. What is that we have to do? Here, x into dy by dx plus y is equal to 0. Its differential of orthogonal trajectory is what? Then, the differential of orthogonal trajectory, the differential of orthogonal trajectory is given by the differential of orthogonal trajectory is given by you have to do that replace replace dy by dx by minus of dx by it is dy dy by dx by minus of dx by dy if you do that Then here x into replace this dy by dx should be minus of dx by dy and plus y equal to 0. This differential equation is of one form, this is another form after applying the differential of orthogonal trajectory. What is that? It is dot. Differential of orthogonal trajectory. It is nothing but replacing dy by dx by minus of dx by dy. So, we are able to get this equation. Now, you have to solve this differential equation to get the, an expression which is free from the derivative. Then, this must be multiplied throughout by dy minus of x into dx and plus y into dy equal to 0 minus of x into minus of x into that is dx you uh, retain there itself multiply throughout by dy means here it takes dy equal to 0. How to solve means this is the rearrangement I have taken. So, what is this rearrangement called? It is nothing but separating the variables. So, separating the variables means grouping x terms in one side and y terms in another side. Okay. Then, you have to solve this differential equation means integrating. Integrating every term we get That is integration minus x into dx plus integration y into dy is equal to constant minus x square divided by 2 plus 
y square divided by 2 is equal to constant. So, this can be written as that is x square minus y square that is equal to minus of it is 2c. 2 is common and send this minus uh, to the right side that is equal to something like a. Therefore, uh, finally we are getting x square minus y square is equal to a. So, this is another equation where this equation is called hyperbola equation that is x square divided by root 2 whole square and minus y square divided by root 2 whole square equal to c if c is equal to 1 then that becomes as hyperbola. That means this curve otherwise this family of curves cut the given family of curves x y equal to c at right angle then these two we say that they are orthogonal to each other. Which is the required family of curves, which is the required family of curves, which is the required family of curves, or uh, as you can call it as that is f of, of course, g of x comma y comma capital A is equal to 0. This is f of x comma y comma c equal to 0. This is 1 and this is 2. These two are orthogonal to each other when they, the angle of intersection between these two cur curves, that is each member of the first family of curves will cut the corresponding member of the family of curves that is given in the equation 2 at 90 degree. So, we call this one as orthogonal to each other. Then similarly, another problem I will take to study in the same partition coordinate system. Example, point the orthogonal trajectory find the orthogonal trajectory of x square by a square plus y square divided by a square plus lambda equal to 1 and hence solve the same. In the solution given, here it is mentioned lambda is a parameter. It is mentioned lambda is a parameter given x square by a square plus y square divided by a square plus lambda that is equal to 1. Then if lambda is the parameter Then differentiating differentiating with respect to lambda, we get we get x square. Uh, sorry, differentiating with respect to x x to eliminate this parameter lambda. That is x square means it is 2x by a square plus of y square uh, divided by that is y square means it is 2y into dy by it is dx and divided by a square plus lambda that is equal to 0. Now you write this equation 
as we have to collect the value of that is lambda. First of all, you will separate the value of lambda. Otherwise, a square plus lambda you can take. So, what is a square plus lambda? You take one term to other side. First of all, 2 I can cancel. x divided by a square plus y d divided by dx divided by a square plus lambda that is equal to 0. Then x divided by a square is equal to minus y into dy divided by dx into 1 divided by a square plus lambda. Then what is a square plus lambda? You have to collect the value. Okay. So a square plus lambda you take to the left side and x by a square you can send it to the other side. So 1 by a square plus lambda is there, you take by cross multiplication a square plus lambda into x by a square equal to minus y into, you can write it as y dash, for example that is dy by dx, then a square plus lambda is equal to a square plus lambda is equal to minus y into y dash divided by it is a square. Therefore, we we want to eliminate this parameter to form a differential equation first and then we will apply the concept of differential of orthogonal trajectory and then we will solve the differential equation. Okay. So now I will replace this a square by a square plus lambda in the given problem. Write that down. Put a square plus lambda value value in the differential equation. What is that? x square by a square plus saw y square divided by this that is minus y into y dash and divided by a square divided by a square is equal to 1. Now, you take this LCM that is minus of Anyway, your differential equation is this, differential equation is this and uh, still it includes that is lambda. Okay. Now, uh, for the orthogonal trajectory, here itself we can replace that is uh, derivative as reciprocal with minus sign. Okay. So, this is our differential equation which is the differential equation in the absence of lambda. Then BOP that means differential of orthogonal trajectory differential of orthogonal trajectory is given by differential of orthogonal trajectory is given by replace what is to be replaced y dash by minus 1 by y dash you write that that is x square divided by a square and here minus sign is there that is plus sign y square divided by minus y into minus 1 by y dash and whole divided by a square all divided by a square equal to 1. So, this a square comes to the numerator that is a square plus lambda is equal to minus y into y dash divided by that is a square. Okay. So, what you have to do now is the y cancels and uh, this becomes plus sign x square when y cancels x square by a square that becomes minus into minus plus and then one y cancels that is y and uh, 
that must be y dash this comes to numerator and one y can be cancelled and that is divided by a square so here it, it comes to be a square that is equal to 1 now if you observe if you observe the type of appearance where uh, where you can solve the differential equation what is this y dash and all how you can solve this differential equation you have to arrange this differential equation to your standard form where you can analyze this differential equation therefore we can solve this differential equation by writing y dash as dy by dx ok so x square by a square x square by a square plus of y into it is dy by dx dy by dx into a square equal to 1 now you can write this as dy by dx means uh, multiply throughout by dx that is dx that is x square by a square it is dx and plus of that is y into dy uh, into a square that is equal to it is dx then what you have to do that uh, you have to integrate every term integrate integrate every term integrating every term that is x cube by 3 into a square plus of y square a square by 2 that is equal to x and plus of constant so this type of solution is another family of curves where you can uh, uh, represent this is given family of curves and this is another family of curves where the intersect each other to give the angle of intersection as 90 degree so they are orthogonal to each other let me take another example in the same fashion where we consider they are said to be self orthogonal example prove that prove that the system of concocal conics x square divided by a square plus lambda plus y square divided by b square plus lambda is equal to 1 is self orthogonal here the same procedure you can apply and when applying the same procedure you have to take you have to take the differentiation here also lambda is the parameter it is given lambda is the parameter here now you find the value of lambda and uh, take the value of that lambda as a square plus lambda and b square plus lambda and then replace whatever the orthogonal trajectory you are going to apply to the differential equation which you are going to form and after applying the concept of differential of orthogonal trajectory which remains to be same then we will say that you need not to solve the differential equation where the differential equation will be same even after the replacement of the derivative then they are said to be self orthogonal let me uh, give the steps for this self orthogonal property therefore here we are differentiating with respect to x to eliminate parameter that is 2x divided by a square plus lambda plus 2y into dy by dx that is y dash b square plus lambda okay that is equal to 0 
then. So with respect to parameter we are taking, now you collect the value of this parameter that is lambda value from this equation. Okay, first of all you can cancel 2 which is common, then x divided by a square plus lambda is equal to minus y into y dash over b square plus lambda. Then take the cross multiplication x into b square plus lambda is equal to minus y into y dash multiplied by a square plus lambda. Then you will get after releasing the brackets on both sides, you multiply this, you collect the value of only lambda and then substitute in the equation. That is x into b square plus x into lambda equal to minus y into y dash that is a r b square oh sorry a square and minus of y into y dash minus of y into y dash lambda. Now you collect the common coefficients of lambda from this equation that is lambda into x plus of y into y dash is equal to that is minus y into y dash a square and minus x into b square. Then lambda is equal to minus of that is uh, y into y dash a square minus x into b square that becomes plus I have done this minus sign outside and divided by x plus y into y dash. So this is the value of lambda. Now to form a differential equation you have to eliminate lambda from the given equation. So this value will be substituted in the given equation. Therefore x square by a square plus lambda plus y square divided by b square plus lambda equal to 1 gives, gives x square divided by it is a square plus lambda that means here a square plus uh, this value a square there is a minus sign minus of y into y dash y into y dash a square minus x into b square and divided by x into uh, sorry x plus y into y dash and plus of y square divided by b square minus b square plus lambda lambda is minus that is y into y dash a square plus of x into b square and divided by x plus y into y dash that is equal to 1. Now when you take the LCM, when you take the LCM in each denominator here x into a square, a square into y into y dash this is with plus sign it will cancel with this a square y into y dash with minus sign so that I can write in the denominator x square divided by this term cancels with this term so that a square x one term and minus minus plus x into it is b square x into b square minus minus plus okay then a square x one term a square y into y dash with minus a square into y into y dash will cancel. So plus of uh, this is y into y dash it will cancel out okay. here. Then what is that? Uh, y square divided by y square divided by and x into that is x into a square into x, a square into y into y dash, right? b square into x and b square into y into y dash. So, x into b square that will cancel but x into a square here. 
I will write, I will write in another form. That is, lambda is equal to After getting lambda is equal to minus of a square y into y dash plus of b square into x and divided by that is x plus of y into y dash a value of lambda which we have collected. So replacing this and cancelling these two you will be getting that is a square plus lambda is equal to x into a square minus x into b square and all divided by x plus of y into y dash that was the denominator term I am writing separately because uh, two steps I am not writing here then b square plus lambda b square plus lambda is equal to is equal to minus a square y into y dash and plus b square y into y dash and divided by x plus y into y dash. So when you substitute these values that is x square divided by a square plus lambda in this place x into a square minus x into b square divided by x plus y into y dash plus of y square divided by minus of a square y into y dash and plus b square y into y dash and whole divided by x plus y into